Glastonbury, Stonehenge. Now, this is classic flying saucer country. Yes, absolutely. And we often imagine that if we were flying in a direct line over here, in fact, we would be on a straight course exactly between Stonehenge, which is to our east here, at the top of the barn, we were looking down the top of the barn, and straight in line with that would be Glastonbury towards the west. And you, Arthur Shuttlewood, are famous, or to some people notorious, as one of the great... Notorious, I think. <laughs> mm, I think, really. Yes, uh, I'm afraid I'm, I'm listed among the, quote, nuts, unquote, or sometimes not quote at all, brigade, certainly because of my way out views. But they've only been inculcated in me because of what we've seen, what we've experienced, and fortunately have been experienced by many others. Uh, don't forget that I started out as a hard-headed, ultra-realistic type of journalist and got to be stickless for absolute fact. Uh, the strangest thing, in fact, that ever happened to me personally on these films here was that when I went up to the farm uh, near Cradle Hill, at the top of Cradle Hill, uh, where there's an army rubbish refuge dump, and uh, I went along this little track because I could see clearly, fairly clearly anyway, the glowing to my right and glowing to my left. That appeared to be circular, that appeared to be cylindrical, and in front of me, a rather large light that lit up the trees in front of me and uh, I was drawn because it appeared to be the nearest of the three I was drawn towards the light in front and I thought well I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain that's you but I couldn't explain what that was it wasn't anything conventional and I hastened towards it
like a giant cauldron of water being poured onto a, a fire, a shh sort of noise, you know. And the first reaction was, oh, the children, I thought maybe a plane was crashing or something like that, to find my two sons lying flat on the ground in the garden in front of the house, shouting, more and more, there's a flying saucer. Well, naturally, I just said, come on, don't be stupid. But felt sort of a strange sensation. Automatically looked up to see this, all I can describe, this huge Mexican hat. It was stationary, this thing, and it was bright silver in colour, and it had a dome. A dome, and it was tilted to sort of... I could see the occupants in it. These people were beautiful people. 